Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and I'm doing something very special today. I'm bringing you a PC game. Yes, you heard me right, a PC game. And I have a special guest with me because he was the one who helped make this possible. Yes, hello everyone, this is Trian Morning, and I finally succeeded in corrupting Michael and turning him into the dark side of PC gaming, to the PC master race, as they say. <laughs> yes, um, me and him have been talking back and forth for a while now about PCs, and um, he actually, like he said, he succeeded in convincing me, you know, you might as well just get a PC, because your uh, Macintosh is just not doing it when it comes to gaming, and he was absolutely <laughs> right. And so I went out, bought myself a really nice PC uh, desktop, and that's what we're playing this on. We've already done a whole bunch of testing to see if this all works, so I'm going to hit the start game button, and we will start this game. Uh, do you want to do the? Do you want to do any of the voices, or do you want me to do them all? Uh, I'll switch off roles with you, so you can do the first one, and then I'll do uh, whoever shows up next. So the kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> where is that silly spud? I said to meet here in the morning. He's really not like his grandfather in any way, going by that letter you sent back. Dear Mr. Agent, of course I'll come. What's good to eat in that part of town? <laughs> that silly empty-headed fool. Of course, it's all the better for me to... Hey, Mr. Agent, is that you? Oh, you're here at last. Sorry, I got lost. Alright. <sighs> I've been waiting all morning. Stand back for my welcome spiel. <clears throat> Hello, you must be the grandson of Batata, the legendary potato smith. As the late Batata's only grandson, you have inherited your grandfather's legacy, his blacksmith, blacksmith shop. I was your grandfather's trusted partner, and we had an agreement where I own 99.9% .9 of this weapon shop. The 0.01% he owed will now be yours. I hope that one day you too can become a legendary potato smith like him. Ba 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 bee? What the hell does that mean? Anyway, let's work together and learn, earn lots of starch. How generous. Oh, wow. Hang on. Starch? Isn't that what we're made of? Er, uh, yes, but it's also currency. You do know what starch is, don't you? Oh, starch. Yeah, I'm not very good with it. Mama's been giving me pocket money for years. Right. Well, don't worry, I'm great with it. I'll help you with complicated financial stuff and expand our business worldwide. Together, I'm sure we can make lots of starch. Yay, but how? Well, for starters, you're gonna need to forge powerful weapons to do that for us. Here, let me teach you how. All right, I can't wait. But first, do you have anything easier than Padalada Kartoff P Arda Apple Papa that I can call you? <laughs> wow, what a name. Hmm, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see, should I be silly about this or should I be serious? Silly's the only way to go. Alright. <clears throat> but you'll be judged. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said you uh, wanted silly. Mm -hmm. And let's see, what should we name the shot? Fighters <laughs> <laughs> are us. Oh, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, welcome to the weapon shop, farters. Here's 500 stars to get you started, courtesy of Agent 46. Isn't he awesome? How generous. You're new in town, so obviously no spud knows about you yet. You'll earn fame and get famous when you start selling weapons to heroes. <laughs> hey, we're in a haze this time. Hmm. The top right panel shows the date, the current season, and the present weather conditions. Oh. Hey, there's our first smith. Here, you should meet Laura, your first smith. Smiths will work to make weapons for you. Click on Laura Craft to get started. I've never heard that name before. Oh, of course not. Laura is a designer. She's good at adding attack to weapons. Smiths can add attack, speed, accuracy, and magic stats to weapons. They need to be standing in the right place to work, though. The colored spots on the ground are where your smiths can stand. 
Laura Croft has high attack, so she'll work best in the red attack spot. Click on the red attack spot to move her there. Okay, let's do that. Yay! Two more Smiths have come. Bulk Bogan and uh, <laughs> Russell Peters. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Craftsmen work better on speed and metal workers on accuracy. Alright then. So there's our workers down here in the bottom left. I can barely see that, but you guys will be able to see it just fine. And then we have our name and all that stuff up here in the upper left. And then, like they said in the upper right, here's our weather and crap, like that. So anyway, you can click on the smiths while they work to learn more about them, or check out the smith panel located at the bottom left. Let's get to work on your first objective, forge a dagger. Okay. Yay, a dagger. It's called a dirk. Is it any surprise that these like daggers? Learn about hero preferences by hovering over the portraits. I can't see it though because you're stupid. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's coming up a bit. Yeah, the, tutorial. Uh, this new village. <laughs> oh well, let's just start. Man, look at him hammering away at that anvil. Not even looking the right way. <laughs> That's impressive right there. Heroes also have stat preferences, since these prefer speed over the other stats. Make speed the primary stat. Okay. So we have our guy on the green spot here, who's uh, taking care of that speed for us. <laughs> wow, what's going on outside? There's stuff moving around. It's a light breeze, it looks like. Nice. Got, like petals falling. Yep. There's really not a whole lot going outside, really. What would you like to name our weapon? Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm, let's see. Silly or ser uh, serious again? Hmm. <laughs> We've seen your silly, so let's see your serious now. Butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhat serious. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, named after the sound people make after getting stabbed with it. Uh, I don't think someone says butter knife when they get stabbed. <laughs> yeah, not with this one anyway. Alright, your turn up. You're up. I can't believe it. My first weapon! <laughs> don't go all starry out on me, farters! We're not done yet. There are tons of heroes around the world who need new weapons. Now that you've made a weapon, you need to sell it to them. I feel so happy. So happy, I feel like singing. Yes, break out that singing voice. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Let's get down to business to forge some weapons. That wasn't singing. <laughs> I want you to say it <laughs> oh, again. I see what it is. Let's get down to business to forge some weapons. Yeah, there you go. That's more like I, it. I got what it was I got what it was referencing. It took me a second. <laughs> Be quiet, I'm not done yet. Selling weapons to heroes lets them fight more monsters, which in turn lets them earn experience and level up. The more your weapons benefit a hero, the more fame you'll receive. So, how do I know if a weapon benefits a hero? I can't fall on that into battle, or can I? Hmm. Pay attention, there's no adventure in here. You're a blacksmith. <laughs> Well, they kind of did that one for you, so... The heroes will let you know if your weapon was beneficial or not by giving it a grade. You might have made a really awesome staff, but if you give it to a rogue who has no use for it at all, you're not going to score very well. That sounds like school. <laughs> uh, not really. You just need to pay attention to a hero's likes and dislikes. You got that? Uh, yes. Cheer up, farters. It's not that difficult. Now, how about continuing your song? That should cheer you up. <laughs> Come on! Oh, did I lose you? <laughs> oh? You like my singing? I'm going to sing a lot more from now on. What? I didn't mean that! Did they send me flowers when I asked for iron? You didn't sing it again! <laughs> ah, it's the same I thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, I don't remember the rest of the song, how it went. <clears throat> they send me flowers when I asked for iron. Perfect. That'll work. <laughs> no! 
Alright, your first weapon is done, now let's go sell it. Potatoes gotta eat after all. Eat what? You <laughs> look on the world map below. <laughs> Ooh, this this music's upbeat. Hyper what is this we're in at? <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, it says, okay, so now we need, so we know who we're going to sell to. Um, Klepto Kid likes daggers, so we'll probably want to sell our dagger to him. But um, this guy, he won't want it, so that's what <laughs> we need to make sure to keep in mind. So on the left panel, you see that there's two heroes you can sell your weapon to. Since you're the boss, you can ask your smith to do the pedaling for you. How nice. On the right panel, click a dagger. So we only have one, so let's go ahead and do that. Then we select who we want to send out there. Who do you th who do you want to send out? Mm, let's see, which ones do we have? Warcraft, Hulk Bogan, and Reset Peters. Um, hmm. I don't know, who would be best for this task? Does it matter which one we choose? Is there a right and wrong answer? Um, not really, I don't think. I mean, they all are the same level right now, so... I mean, this. I would say send Laura. Okay, that's what usually people send, but that'll work. <laughs> Ciao. The Smiths you select will now travel to new villages to look for customers. <laughs> so basically, it's just saying that they'll report back soon, and we'll just keep an eye on them. And now we got a new thing: the WhatsApp. I think that's how you say it. WhatsApp. <clears throat> anyway, um, Farters are us. Welcome, Farters. Welcome to the report. Cough, cough. The haze is here. Better put on a mask. And then after that, we got spring, where it's like, ah, spring, where a young spud's fancy turns to hatch you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we just got to hit next so that it continues on. So make sure you check it regularly, except when you're smithing. When I want you to hit your thumb. You know what? I have never hit my thumb with a uh, hammer. Have you? Um, mm, I may have done it once. <laughs> I mean, like, I've come close, but, like, I've never actually, like, hit it in a point where it would, like, hurt. Like, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I've ever, like, oh, really yeah. caught myself. Mm -hmm. So now we just gotta keep an eye on this down here for when she has it. Oh look, your smith found the customers. Go on, check out the offers they made. I got confused before and I thought you had to click over here, but no, you had to click over here. <laughs> oh yeah. So there are two heroes with offers for you, Joy, but you can't decide who to sell to? Well, maybe the experience will help you. So basically it just says, this person will go up to level 4 if, they, if you sell it to them. So it might be a good idea if we sell it to the Klepto Kid. Because it matches his primary <laughs> stat and weapon type preference. <laughs> that sound is awesome! <laughs> Alright, let's sell it to the Klepto Kid. You will receive the start turn from the sale when your smith returns to the shop. Sorry, we don't have online banking here. Oh. <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> and complain to the manager. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Smith, it's all your fault. <laughs> Mr. Smith is back from selling weapons. This is how much they made. Ah. God, they didn't make any extra money. They just sold it for the thing. It cracked halfway through the dungeon. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> These sale oh, trips well. earn you more starch as you advance, but also wear down your smiths. An upset smith does not make a good sales potato. <laughs> so ours came back with hyperactive. So hmm. what that does, I guess it just makes them uh, more determined to work. Yay, we got fame! We could tell everybody. Again, my cat's not in here, so I can't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we should start a new weapon. Um, 
So we could make a bow, but we don't have enough material. So we need to buy... If we wanted to make these, we would have to buy ourselves some rope. But for now, let's just uh, forge another dirt. Sounds like the easiest thing to do. Yep. I don't think we have options to buy materials yet. So anyway, uh, your smiths can now boost weapons, the type of boost smiths can do, depending on their job class. Basically, you can just read down here what it does. <laughs> I know, it's so unlike me to tell you to read. <laughs> well, look at me up. Yeah, they're doing really good work. I love this guy right here who's like not doing anything. Just dancing. How's he holding that hammer? <laughs> this guy? Oh, uh, he, he's like using his mind. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I like how they get all like Super Saiyan whenever they, uh, like, level up. Okay, let's see. What do we want to name it this time? Um, since it's probably <laughs> slightly better than before. Hmm. There we go. A broad knife. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if any of the stats were better than before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to. Let's see. Um... Well, you'd hope your game be better with time as the game goes on. Hold on, I'm trying to find out where you buy materials. Cause I remember, oh, it'd be here. So I guess. Can I forge another one? I'm probably out of materials, anyway. Yeah, I am. So I'm gonna have to just sell it again. So, let's go to the world map. Ah, we still need to go to the new village. Alright, should we send the same person again? Or should we send somebody else? This guy's happy, that might help us a little bit. Yeah, since he's in a good mood, it'll probably help his performance. Alright then. See how he does. All right. Oh, someone got sick apparently. Yeah, it didn't look like a happy guy right there. <laughs> Poor Hulk Hogan. All right, so let's see. Ooh. He's offering the most money for it. Ooh. Uh, he dislikes the bow, but he likes an axe. Maybe yeah, he's offering the most money. That's kind of a problem. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll just sell it to the same guys before. Yeah. Alright. Alright, see if he can sweeten the deal. Probably not. Because he fails at life. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he can try to rob our store with it. <laughs> actually, did, did we sell it for 96 or did he actually get a little bit extra? He's nice, still complaining. <laughs> yeah, he's still... <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Uh, Some people just can never be happy. Alright, so... Now we need to buy stuff. How do we do that? Um, oh yeah, I think I'd go here. Yep, shop for items. There it is. And we go to New Village to do that. And we want to buy... Let's see, how much money do we have right now? There we go. 680. So we want to buy two of that. I think I want to buy four of this. <laughs> and let's see. Um, that should do. I like how the shop's just on a floating grass patch, like in Minecraft, but in oh, space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Um... <laughs> He's still happy, so I'm gonna send him again. Off for a supply run! As I bump my mic. <laughs> professional. That's right, I'm always so professional. <laughs> Wait, I didn't buy five ropes, I just realized that. I only bought a couple. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Just like I said, the most professional gameplay ever. <laughs> We can always just make more weapons for it. Oh. Yeah. Smile goes a long way. Look at the discount I got. <laughs> he got $21 off. Nice. 
Oh, I think I got four. I missed my one. <laughs> I say we make a bow. <laughs> so, um, basically this game looks pretty good from what I can say. What do you think so far? It's interesting. It reminds me of those, uh, I don't know, like a lot of games like this nowadays, but I think the one that at least I played that I remember is that game dev one. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like a game dev and people in the office working together. That's what it kind of reminds me of anyway. I think that's the reason why I like this so much is because it reminds me of that. When I saw this and I saw that they created another, um, you know, what do you call it? Um, build it game. I was like, oh, this is so awesome. I'm totally going to get it. Um, so I was like, I'm also going to show it to people because it deserves to be shown off in my opinion. Mm, yeah. So now we got a short bow. Let's forge another. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's build a hand axe. You, Erm, hold it in your hand. I love that. Good advice. <laughs> in case you're confused. Exactly. <laughs> so basically, um, how this game works is, from what I've seen so far, is you build a weapon, and like they say, you take it to the store, like the place to sell it from. You meet your customer, sell your weapons, then bring the person back with the money. And then as you do more and more business, you make your, um, you know, weapon shop look better and better. And like, if you guys have seen the uh, Steam page for it, it is crazy how amazing your um, store can end up looking. Let's see, I'm gonna just do this. So you can get it fully decked out if you get enough experience and oh yeah like and one that i saw was kind of cool is like you can have it like built into a cave it's pretty awesome <laughs> nice alright um, everybody's neutral now what do you think I don't know, does it help to have one especially skilled in this? Because I see that we have uh, Laura, she got her level up. Russ got his level up a little bit. Um, um, I guess as they get better, they can actually um, sell it for more than they ever, like than they have on there. But I'm not sure exactly. I don't know, because maybe we could try to focus on getting one up at a time. I'm not sure if that's more useful or not. Let's see. Well, he's closer then. I say we put him then. Alright, okay, let's give him a shot. Alright. Bulkamania? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> and then next, let's go... Um, send another guy to buy some more supplies for us. Uh... What else do we need? Um, we don't have any bronze now. Ooh, too expensive. Uh, we'll just uh, do that. We gotta keep an eye on the uh, cash flow here. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um. Wow. This guy likes bows, so. Um, He's giving us a crap load of money for it, too. So I say we do that. Definitely. I mean, it's only going to put him up one level, but oh well. And then this one is obviously going to go to this guy, because he likes axes. That's a lot of money on him, too. <laughs> yeah. Alright. This guy's so alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, it looks like he's dying days, too. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, nice! Look at that. We got 699. I wish there was someone else to buy from, but you'll do. <laughs> the other guy wow. liked it though. That guy's just an ass. <laughs> How rude! 
Alright, you are this guy. That was helpful. Hey, yeah, you got a little bit of a discount. Alright. Yay! We completed our objective. Now we need to forge another bow. <laughs> How are we doing on time, by the way? Uh, no, I won't start the time now. I think it's been about a half hour. Alright. Whoa. There's a 10 meter wall of water coming right at you. Grab onto something. The weapon you are forging has been damaged. So yeah, there's a little events that can happen too, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm surprised we actually got one in our time. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> that's kind of cute, if you ask me. Sweeping away the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, a statue of puttery or something like that, I guess. A sputtery? I don't yeah, know. Of course. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part for this game, um, from what I can see, it's basically just build weapons, send them out, and see how people accept them. I mean, it's cool. Uh, I wouldn't see you playing it for hours on a day, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, we're 30 minutes in, like, or at least close, and I'm already feeling like, gosh, <laughs> I need to do something <laughs> really interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting type of game, but they do wear on me a bit after a while, these kinds of things. But yeah, I mean, like, oh, we're definitely out of materials, dang. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they go, they go very quickly. Yeah. It's all about management. Uh, yeah, anyway, so, um... All I managed to do in that one was just kind of mess around. So I'm going to go ahead and save this here. I think that's a great thing. Um, as always, if you guys do want to see more of this game, let me know. But it'll probably be just me by myself if I decide to do more. I mean, I'm sure Tryon Morning wouldn't mind, but I, I highly doubt he would want to keep playing this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all right. Um, if you guys got any suggestions for PC games for me, let me know in the comments or anything like that. I'm open for anything. I just got. Um, I always love seeing suggestions, so yeah, feel free. But since I like I said, now that I have a PC, I'm Steam's completely open to me. So if you have a Steam game. Indie or otherwise that you think is amazing, let me know. And if it's really good, I might even invite Try Morning back to, to uh, try it out with me if he hasn't seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. All right then. I guess I'll see you guys whenever I record again. Till then, everyone. Bye. <laughs>